OK. Hi, I'm Jonathan. First of all, how many of you have succeeded in transferring the content of a DVD on your iPad? Nobody. That's a shame. <laughs> but fortunately, now we have Stream Nation. Let's talk about Steve. Steve has a huge DVD collection that he wants to enjoy on all his devices. What he's going to do, he goes on Stream Nation and order a DVD kit, which is a FedEx box with a label that he's going to use to send his DVDs to Stream Nation. <coughs> when they arrive at Stream Nation, DVDs are backed up twice on Stream Nation storage and on Amazon. They are transcoded in four different formats to offer an adaptive streaming and offer the best streaming quality in any conditions. And then they are sent back to Steve. Now Steve can enjoy his entire video library on streamnation.com, on iPad, and on iPhone. Steve knows that there are a lot of cool stuff on Streamnation. He is a huge fan of TED videos. So he goes on TED.com, pick the URL of one video, copy and paste it on streamnation.com. The video will be downloaded, transcoded, ready to be streamed. Steve has a daughter. And in order to prepare their trip, he needs some videos to entertain her. He knows that she loves Sesame Street videos. So he goes on YouTube, picks a playlist on Sesame Street, copy and paste the URL in Stream Nation. The content is downloaded, transcoded, ready to be streamed. Steve is a huge fan of independent movies. He loves this content, this content on Vodo.net. The issue with Vodo.net is that you cannot download content if you don't use BitTorrent protocol. But Steve knows that he just has to, to copy and paste the URL in StreamNation, and the content will be downloaded, transcoded, ready to be streamed. As I'm talking to you, you see Steve's account with the notifications when the content is ready. So I repeat, Steve can upload all his DVDs, download any video on the web, and can use the BitTorrent protocol to add content directly to his account. Now Steve is on the go, so he goes on his iPad. So let's switch to the Elmo. On the iPad, <clears throat> on the iPad, on the Elmo, <laughs> on the Elmo, Steve browses his library. Steve is a bit maniac, so he wants to add a cover to this Pioneer One video. And he clicks on Add a Cover, and in one click, he can add the cover to a content. Now it's time to fly, and he wants to get Pulp Fiction offline so that he can enjoy during the flight. He clicks on Download. The content is now cached, like on Spotify. You can enjoy, Steve can enjoy his content offline. Now Stream Nation starts at $4 per month for 100 gigabytes. We need to, and Steve goes on website. So it starts at $4 for 100 gigabytes. We launch today. At launch, our private beta invite only. And this fall, we will, we will add photos and music. Thank you very much. Great. Let's hear it for Stream Nation.